Hi everybody, welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft and today this is just an interest video and um, this is a kit loadout of what I bring out for 24 hours okay obviously the kit will change all depending on the types of camping I do at the moment I'm out doing a bushcraft camp uh, at what base camp and what I've done is I've laid everything out on my bed and the actual the units that I use to carry my kit in, hence my webbing and my new day pack. Alright, uh, it's patrol pack, sorry. So, at any rate, what we'll do is, we'll start from the front end. And as you can see, I've got two sets of JJ um, Brecken's kit, which is the webbing. I've just done a video on that, so I'll put a link in the description below and you can go and check that out. And then I've just purchased the new Light Fight Day Pack, Patrol Pack, sorry. Um, I haven't done a video on that yet because I've just started it. But as you can see on the front end, we we'll have a small pouch attached to the molly. And then underneath that, I have my first aid kit. Um, I'll not run through that at all. Um, it's just a first aid kit with um, turner keys in and uh, Israeli bandages and then bog standard other stuff. Okay, I'm not going to open it all up. And the only other thing from the first aid kit is the smidge, which I've just been putting on. So, looking from the left-hand side, working my way over to the right, I've got my sleeping system. So, this here is a my sleeping bag. It's not in a, um, a stuff sack or anything, because I put it inside my bivvy bag, and then I put it in loose at the bottom of my bag. Okay. Also inside of the sleeping bag, I ha inside of the, the day pack, I have a stuff sack as well, so it gives it that extra water waterproofing, but every other thing goes in there with stuff sacks and things as well. My roll mat of choice is the Nemo Air sleeping mat. It's um, a very, very comfortable mat when it doesn't deflate on you. Um, but yeah, it's an expensive bit of kit, but it's worth it. It's got about, um, I think it's plus four for uh, warmth. Bivy bag is the Snug Pack Special Forces uh, bivy bag. It's absolutely brilliant. It's got a top zip on it, and it it goes down really small when you put it in its little stuff sack. Ideal. Everybody likes a little creature comfort, so I've got a Trekology pillar. This is going to be getting swapped out soon because I think this has uh, run, its, run its course and it's starting to deflate a bit as well. For the, the seasons have changed now, so I need to start thinking about bug nets and things. So I've got a, a micro weave mos mosquito net. It's an OEX one. It's, it, it's ideal. You just put two ties on either side ridge line across, tie it off, and it hangs over the sides of the bed really nice. Um, I'll try and put little clips of it on as I'm speaking about all the kit. So next we we'll have the DD Magic Carpet. This is the smaller version. Um, I always take this with us because it ends up, you can use it if you're making a, um, a small little bash and put it up on the side to make a little windbreak. I use it for carrying bits of wood in carrying rocks in all sorts it's used and abused it's got lots of little holes in it but it does the job um, and also you can use it to put over your kit on a night time if you want absolutely a, a nice bit of kit to carry looking at the clothing inside of this stuff sack I have a, a soft shell jacket and a pair of socks and then me green um, top that I always wear these here are some Jack Pike waterproof bottoms, camouflage, similar to my jacket that I wear. All right. Um, actually, I don't even know where my jacket is, to be fair. Um, next, um, a pair of gloves for working in. Okay. Um, always best to keep your hands protected when doing your manual work at the campsite. This bag here is just to cover my firmares mat and um, just to stop it being a shiny object hanging off the side of my day pack and it also protects it as well all right other bits of clothing that i have i always have a woolly hat for the night time walking 
and things like that. I have a peak cap. I have one of these little face things just to put on, on a night time uh, when I'm sleeping just to stop anything crawling in my mouth and things. And it's also good for putting on your wrist when you're yomping. And then it's just acts as a sweat, right, uh, sweat rag as well. Inside of here, I have a pee bottle. It's ideal, saves you in the winter, especially for the winter time. Saves you going out of your sleeping bag when you're nice and warm. Just unzip it a bit, lean to one side, pee in the bottle, it's got a nice wide neck. So you're not going to have any accidents with it. Um, next, obviously, I've touched on the first aid kit down the bottom. But I also carry in the top pouch is some foot powder. Some cordage for like obviously making ridge lines and different bits and pieces moving on to the cook system my preferred cook system at the minute is obviously i bring the soto windmaster stove yeah um that's just a brew kit the pack that the, the stove goes in and a little foot thing for the gas i've brought a plate out this time because we're eating lovely steaks last night then I've got my Pathfinder bottle. I don't bring the mug for it. I should do it because it fits inside of the pouch that I put it in. Um, and then obviously I've got my BCT cup, British Army issue cup, plastic cup and bottle. So that's my two forms of carrying uh, water. Also, as you see on the other video, I carry a small 600ml um, bottle for drinking on the move. And then I've got a knife, fork and spoon set for eating with obviously then moving over to more things that you don't really see this is my electrical kit okay and it's got like all my lights in my radio a spare um, GoPro in case the one that I'm using now the 9 breaks down obviously I need charging units batteries things like that I've got head torch I've got my, my light to hang up underneath my top um, then obviously I've got a new light that I've started using for the night time for videoing only uh, it all takes takes up room and then I've got like um, other little bits and pieces in there that you don't really know about this is me odds and sods for me electrics with spare sim cards cables a connect that to put me uh, camera on the stand and take photographs and things then obviously because I'm over the age of 50 now, I need a pair of glasses. And as you can see, I've got some batteries charging there on my power bank. So that's all my electrical stuff. Now all that just there comes with about, uh, I think it's two kilo. It's quite heavy, it's a lot of stuff and it's bulky, but it's a vital part of um, being a YouTuber. Most of that kit, if I wasn't on YouTube, I wouldn't even be bringing it. I'd be bringing a power pack, my head torch and my other torch and a radio and that'd be it. The rest of it just wouldn't even be there. So that's, that puts a bit of bulk and a bit of weight into my pack. Moving over to the right hand side, we're looking at the tools that I've selected for this week. Obviously I've got a bit of fire kit there. Um, I've also got a fire kit and everything inside of my chest rig. There's a separate video on that. I'll put a link to that in the description if you're interested. All right, so we'll not cover anything in there. Then I've got a small hatchet. I've brought a small um, digging tool out with us this time. All right, which I haven't even, I think I've used it once. Just for obviously digging for when I go to the toilet and things and little tasks around camp. I've brought me, me um, Cecil knife love it it's absolutely brilliant it's ideal for what i need and that was made kindly by the north rumbia me pal chris and then i have me large silky big boy absolutely outstanding bit of kit and last thing at all is obviously me me german ground sheet that you can see underneath all the kit there all right so that's quick a quick rundown of my kit and obviously my top. This is a DD super light top. That's the full lot. So if you have any questions about anything, uh, just put them in the comments below. Uh, obviously, this is for 
some people may say that's a lot of kit for a 24 hours but it's it's what I like to bring out I am dwindling it down a bit and as as the summer comes in there'll be less and less kit coming out but when you come out doing a bushcraft camp and you're building stuff you need tools that adds a lot of weight obviously we're trekking into somewhere where there isn't a water source so we need to carry extra water in things like that um, Obviously, there's no food on the on the on this uh, on the bed here because we've aired it all. But there's that to put into consideration as well for packing into your into your kit. And that's it really. Obviously, neck knife that gets packed away, but it's always on me person when I'm in the woods. And then I've got a first aid kit and toiletry stuff in me pockets. Uh, always kept on me person. All right, and obviously me phone down there. That's it. All right. So, like I said before, any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And thank you very much for watching.